Hey folks, I want to make another video on this uh, the, the meter hub for uh, Morningstar charge controllers. Uh, and I think they're mirror hub for other devices too, but uh, I'm just using them for charge controllers here. Uh, and I wanted to show you the uh, the functionality of them and what they work, or how they work when they're all hooked up, and what and what, uh, what you see on the meters themselves. And I'll also show you what I can see uh, on my computer that I can see through our e Ethernet. Okay, folks. So this is. The display of my uh, Morningstar TriStar MPPT60 meter downstairs, uh, and this display, what you're seeing here, is uh, what what I also see in my remote meter upstairs. It's the exact same uh, readout. And uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, first of all, I apologize that this this meter here I've been using about 10 years, and who knows. How long was being used before that? It's got a little bit of a display going out here, so uh, bear with me. Uh, sometimes some things just disappear because of that. But <clears throat> what you see here is is uh, a readout of what my system of charge controllers is doing. So I've got uh, my two here charge controllers, and uh, this display is the uh, focus there again. Sorry, the display of what the system is doing. So. How this works with the uh, the meter hub uh, hooked up, and you see uh, it's got two lights there, so it's uh, showing both these charge controllers are communicating. So what we got here is what both of them are receiving and then putting out to the batteries. And so if I use the up arrow here, it shows that I'm on the system view. So I go back down, that's what this system is doing. Uh, 5.9 amps, 153 watts, uh, it's about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, early in September here, so not a lot going on yet. Uh, if I go over to my watt hours, you can see it's already got a little bit in the batteries. Uh, I just felt 90 there. So I've got 90 total. So if I go back up out of the system view and now go, I can view what each charge controller is doing. So I go, I went over to number one. It's hard to see because display uh, things are going out. That's number one. So then if I go down to, to view number one charge controller, and I go over to view the watt hours, this one's put out 40 watt hours so far. Uh, and then if I go back up, and you see it's the same voltage, uh, and then this shows the watts it's putting out, uh, so on and so forth. I go back up and go over to number two, I can see what this is, has put out for watt hours, which is 50. So 50 plus 40 is 90. So as up to 90 on the system display, which I'll go back to now. So uh, <clears throat> that's what uh, that's how these work with the meter hub uh, hooked up, and which allows these two to communicate. And that's that's what you see here on your displays. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, this is the exact same thing what I see upstairs. So how you set up <clears throat> the meter number on these displays is you can actually do that on these. Uh, the meters themselves on the charge controllers. You don't have to, uh, you know, go through the Ethernet and hook up your computer and go through the MSView software. You can actually do it on these meters. And this one, this meter right here physically, I've got set up as meter number one. I've designated this one as meter number two. There is a way in the, in the uh, owner's manual that tells you how to designate the, the meter number. Uh, so you can allow these to communicate and not have the same uh, meter ID. And when you cook these up with the meter hub, uh, and you plug them in, if they're the same meter ID, if they're both saying meter number one, it'll throw an error and it'll tell you and it won't allow them to communicate. So nothing bad will happen. It just, it'll tell you if they won't communicate and then you'll have to go in and physically hook up a meter to this to the charge controller that you want to change and change the meter ID and then you'll have to unhook that meter physically and then set it, uh, physically set it up the way you want it to like I have it here so that's that's it on the meter ID so uh, now I will go upstairs and show you what I can see on my computer screens folks here uh, I'm on my computer now where I can see what both charge controllers are doing um, and so uh, 
I'll just show you. I'm sure those of you that have these have seen these screens before, but I, since I have two of them, I got two two of them up to show each one which one's doing. And like I said, unfortunately, I can't see uh, the combined uh, numbers of what they're doing. And maybe there's some way to do that, but I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, so anyway, this charge controller over here, uh, hopefully you can see my mouse, is the number one, uh, which had the meter on it downstairs. This one right here on the left is the other one. And it looks like there's probably some clouds or trees in the way that, that are affecting uh, this one's output. Usually this one is, uh, you know, 20 or 30 percent higher than this one over here. But uh, anyway, that's what that is. That's what I got going on here, going on here on the computer. Uh, and the other tab I got here is just the daily stats. Uh, that doesn't change if you have a meter bus or not. But anyway, wanted to show you that, and uh, hopefully that makes sense. Like I said, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know, and we'll talk to you later.